Welcome to Japan by Food. I'm your host, Shizuka Anderson, and today I'm in Obama City, Fukui Prefecture, with my good friend, Lena. Hi, everyone. I'm Lena. I'm a TV personality and MC in Japan. Yes, that's <laughs> right. And uh, we previously shot a video together in Tsukiji for Japan by Food, mm -hmm. and that was a lot of fun. So today we're doing a little girls' road trip. Oh, we're going to go driving mm. for three days across the coast of the western coast of Japan, mm -hmm. visiting Fukui Prefecture, Kyoto, as well as Hyogo Prefecture. And a lot of people come to Kyoto, but I think not so many people visit the areas around Kyoto. So that's what we're gonna do yes. today. Mm. So this is gonna be a lot, a lot of fun. Of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super excited. And uh, we can discover some amazing local foods here and spectacular sights. So let's, let's go! go. <laughs> It really does look like a movie set. No, right? This is crazy. But also it feels um, it feels a little bit like Kyoto. It does. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing how just standing here you can feel it come alive yeah. in your mind. So they look like humans. They do look <laughs> like little humans. But apparently they're monkeys. Oh, these are monkeys? Yeah, and then they're supposed to protect the house and businesses. Well, let's keep exploring mm. down this street and maybe we can go find a little bite to eat. Mm. And we even have a fun little activity to oh. do today. So look forward to that. Oh, here we are. <laughs> This is um, this is our next stop for today. It's the Akao Curry Cake and Cake Shop. It feels a little bit um, Showa. <laughs> well, they have like certificates. I guess they've got a, an award. Award, yes, yes, Ooh. yes. Oh, for their kare yaki. Mm. And that's what we're gonna try today. It's the kare yaki, which is very unique because in Tokyo um, we have kare pan. Or kare mang. Or kare mang, yes. you're right. So like steamed buns with curry mm -hmm. or like deep fried curry breads. Mm. This one is more like a curry cake, mm -hmm. which is very unusual. Mm. So let's give that a try. Let's go. Hi, arigatou gozaimasu. That looks so good. It does. It looks kind of like a hot dog. It okay. smells like kind of like imagayaki or taiyaki a little bit. You're so right. Mm. It smells kind of sweet and cakey. There we go. The <laughs> bottom is really hot. Okay, let's give it a try. <gasps> it is really hot. Oh, but it's good. It's filled with curry. The bread part. Mm. It's sweet. It's sweet. Mm. I've seen like curry bread, like curry bun, mm -hmm. which is like deep fried and breaded right. curry bread, but not like this form. It's totally different from like a curry bread that you normally would mm. get in in most other places. Yeah. And the curry is not too spicy. So yeah, right. it's like mild curry. Mm -hmm. So it matches really well. Well, that is so good. But we actually have another activity today. So let's head over there. Mm. <laughs> So now we're at the Wakasa Obama Food Culture Museum. That's right, and speaking of Obama, they even have an Obama <laughs> statue over there, which is so funny. And his dog. <laughs> and his dog, so cute, I love that touch. They're so unique. Mm. And fun fact, these are all handmade, traditional wood lacquer chopsticks. Mm -hmm. And those are not as common these days. Nowadays, mm -hmm. a lot of chopsticks are actually just printed on. Ah. But 80% of the traditional handmade chopsticks come from Obama City. Oh, really? Yes. So what better place than here to try making chopsticks? H have you ever done it before? No, I've never <laughs> done it. Have you? I haven't either, so I don't know what to expect. <laughs> Me neither. I don't even know what the process is. Mm. So this will be an interesting experience. Yes. All right, well, let's give it a try. Let's go. So I guess what we're doing right now is we're removing the lacquer to reveal some different colors. So they don't use any glue to stick the, the seashells. 
eggshells as well on here. Um, but just as they, they layer it on top of the wet lacquer and then it sticks on there. And then you shave it off to reveal the colors on just these bumpy parts. First it was a multicolored, you know, paint kaleidoscope, but mm -hmm. now it's starting to look more like just glass or something. These little roundish bumps on the top are hiding the abalone shells. So the more I sand this particular spot with the wet sandpaper, the more you can see some shiny shell shine through. All right, we've just finished making our chopsticks. Yay. It's time for the big reveal. Ta-da! Ta it's pretty straightforward, but mm. it's a little bit more difficult than you would expect. Yes. And these are a really traditional type of chopsticks in this mm. area. They're called the wakasa nudi. So mm. it's a special type where they lacquer it uh, with the seashells and eggshells mm. in it. It's not very common to see in Tokyo, that's for sure. So mm. I think this would make a great souvenir. Mm. Well, I think now that we have chopsticks, we should probably go use them. And uh, maybe we can try some local cuisines like mackerel or saba. And there's three special ways that they prepare it here in Obama City. So let's give those a try. Let's go. Let's go. Konnichiwa. <laughs> That is such a long time, oh my gosh. あ、なるほど。<笑> ま、さっきのボシしたよ。今このちょっと。え、これ何やいと本来持っとる束の豆成分が上がってきとる。へえ、で、今のってあの、どれぐらい中に入ってるんですか ?70。70。70。70。70。70。70。70。70。70。70。70。70。70。70。70。70。70。70。70。70。70。70
And this one is a grilled heshiko. So they've grilled it. It looks kind of like grilled salmon now. Yes, it does. Lots of celebrities have come to eat here mm. and um, there's just like, memorabilia everywhere <laughs> and it's very homey it is so yeah. homey this building is about 90 years old and i think he said that they've been running this in for the last 60 years mm. or so so it's a very old school and traditional yeah. okay well let's give this a try because i'm dying to see what this tastes like mm -hmm. okay itadakimasu Quite tough. Oh, mm. I thought it would dissolve in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Usually sashimi, you don't have to chew so much. Mm -hmm. It just dissolves right away. But this one, I feel like if you don't chew enough, it mm. might choke you. So you have to like really be careful. Yeah. Mm. Maybe I don't even know so well what a saba mm. sashimi usually tastes like. Probably never had saba sashimi. I've only had like fried or yeah. grilled mackerel. I think so right. I think that's why it's a whole new experience for both of us. I agree. And we were kind of lost when we first exactly. took a bite. Okay, well let's try the next one then. Okay. This is first time <laughs> narezushi. Narezushi. Fermented fish filled with rice, rice and, koji. and koji. Okay, itadakimasu. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's really good. It's a mm. lot of flavor. Mm hmm. A lot of umami. Mmm. So it's like not a sushi, but is it sushi? Mmm. Mmm. Actually, so not a sushi is the origin of modern day sushi. Mm -hmm. So before modern day sushi existed, this was sushi. So they actually used this method to preserve the fish back because in the day. They didn't have any where to refrigerate sushi, right? Like exactly. we have today. Exactly. And as you know, Japan gets super hot. So that would be yes. a nightmare trying to preserve fish, I would imagine. And this method of preserving fish actually started in the Yayoi period, which was super, long super long time, time ago. Yeah. <laughs> and during that time though, they didn't actually eat the rice that they fermented mm. it with. Um, and then later on, they started eating the fermented rice as well. And Later on in the Edo period, they actually stopped fermenting the rice and mixed it with vinegar instead. And that was um, the start of modern day sushi. So finally, we ha definitely have to try the heshiko. Um, this one is the raw heshiko, so it's a sashimi heshiko. Mm. It hasn't been cooked, it's straight from the hut that we were just at. And this one is a grilled heshiko, so it looks a little bit like a grilled salmon. I mean, mm -hmm. or a grilled mackerel, which yes. is what it is. Um, so let's give this a try. A brand new food experience for me. <laughs> Ooh, okay, let's see how this tastes. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. Mm. It's salty. It's super salty. Mm. It doesn't taste raw. I don't know, for me, it tastes like, it tastes similar to salmon. It does! Right? Right? So I'm very surprised it's mackerel. I know. Right? It is so bizarre. And like, it's interesting because it kind of looks like salmon as mm. well since the color has changed. Mm. All right, let's try wow. the, the grilled one okay. now. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. <laughs> let's try. Mmm. Whoa. <laughs> this one's saltier. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. The flavor is really packed in there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think um, in moderation, this would mm. be fantastic. Yes. Like if you've got your bowl of rice, mm. you've got your green tea, mm -hmm. then I think this would be just perfect. Mm. What, it, what was your favorite one out of all of these so far? Narizushi. Mm. Really? How about you? Mm, I'm actually really pleasantly surprised by this mm -hmm. hishiko, the raw hishiko. Wow, so this has been quite a day so far mm -hmm. in Fukui Prefecture. It has. What did you think about Obama City so far? I really loved it. I mean, everything about it, the nature, food, mm -hmm. and making the lacquer chopsticks. Oh yes. Was so a very fun. unique experience. How did you feel about Obama? 
I was very pleasantly surprised as well. I think I never had any kind of image in my mind what Obama City was going to be like. I just had heard about <laughs> it in the news that one time. Um, I never thought that I would actually be here, like have a chance to come here mm -hmm. today. And I'm so glad I did because I think it's such a, in a way, a little known gem. Mm -hmm. And so many, you know, popular tourist locations in Japan, um, they're just so crowded with people. And mm -hmm. I think you can't enjoy the traditional atmosphere as well as you should. But if you come to places like this, these little known gems, this is where you can enjoy the traditional mm -hmm. buildings, those yes. traditional streets, and it's peaceful and quiet. Mm -hmm. And then you can learn so much more about this local history. And then, of course, enjoy um, lesser known delicacies. Mm -hmm. mm, so that was amazing. And of course, chopstick making, so yeah. much fun. <laughs> yeah, but all in all, this, this city is so beautiful and I totally recommend for you guys to come visit it. But our journey is not finished yet. We're gonna keep traveling and doing our road trip tomorrow, but tomorrow is in Kyoto. Kyoto! So Kyoto is such a popular tourist location, but we're not gonna go to the popular tourist spots. Mm. We're gonna see, we're gonna go off the beaten path and explore a local fishing village in Kyoto, which I don't think anybody has that kind of image of Kyoto. Mm -hmm. So look forward to what we discover there. Yes, and uh, hopefully you can discover with us some little hidden gems in Japan. Anyway, see you guys in our next video. Thank you.